Hello and welcome to the Health and Social Care Taster Session. I'm sorry that we can't meet in person and it's virtual, but I'm looking forward to meeting you, in, meeting you all in September. I'm just going to share a PowerPoint presentation with you to give you an idea of what Health and Social Care is about. Hopefully you can see this screen. Okay, my, hello, my name is Sue Cutts and I'm one of the teachers on Health and Social Care. Uh, the other teacher is Carrie Weiselberg, and as you can see here, I've included both our email addresses if you have any questions or queries. So the Level 3 Health and Social Care course is a BTEC course, which is great because it's a mixture of exams and coursework. You don't need to have done Health and Social Care before. However, what we do need is students who have confidence in their literacy skills. As you can see here, we've got the teaching content spread over the two years. In year 12, you'll notice there are two exams and there's two coursework units. And uh, in year 13, you'll notice there's one exam and three coursework units. So health and social care is a very dynamic industry and sector and it's forever changing. And we know with the recent pandemic, what challenges it has faced. And one of those challenges is there's never enough money to go around to treat everybody in all the ways that they require. And there's budget restrictions and the NHS is funded mainly by the government, which makes it free at point of use. However, organisations in the NHS have to make decisions on where to spend their money. For example, your local GP surgery or community GP practice may have thousands of patients registered on their books, but they have a limited amount of money they can spend and they have to make decisions as to which patients receive what treatment and when. This is an activity based around six patients. Um, you have £6,000 to spend and each patient has a particular issue or requires treatment and you have to decide which patients you would treat and how you would spend that £6,000. Obviously, I will quickly go through each slide now, but the idea is that you can pause the video at any point whilst at home and decide who can get the funding. So the first person who requires funding is Ben and as you can see by the picture, he needs an earlobe operation and that's a cost of £1,800. The next person um, who needs who you need to consider for treatment is Al, who's lost eight stone over the last couple of years and requires a tummy tuck operation with a cost of £6,000. The next person is Jacob who requires tattoo removal and that's £800. Then we have Bethany, who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, who's, seek, who's seeking counselling, and that's a cost of £1,200. We have Dylan and Daisy, uh, a couple who are trying to start a family. They need help with conception, and they have requested IVF treatment of a cost of £4,000. And finally, we have James, who has a pathetic leg, and he is wanting a silicone leg that makes it more comfortable to wear, and that's at £2,500. So they're your six patients. You have to decide who you would spend money on and give a reason why. It's always best if you have a budget of £6,000 is to spend the whole budget. So say pause the video when you're ready and you can go back to it and decide. Another activity that I'd like you to have a look at today, um, once again involved in the NHS, is the emergency call centres. Now I know many of you would have seen ambulance and 24 hours in A&E and the pressure that both the call handlers, the paramedics and the ambulance drivers and the staff in A&E are under. Um, and they have to make really pressurised decisions. Um, so there's a scenario here for you about working in a call centre. It's a busy afternoon and you receive five calls in a short space of time. And once again, it's about decision making and prioritising. Which patient would you send to the ambulance? Would you send the ambulance to and why? Let's have a look at the patients. So there's five patients. There's John, Eric, Janine, Jason and Jody. Very short about some information. And once again, pause the video and decide who you would send the ambulance to and give a reason why. That's the end of the uh, short PowerPoint presentation. And it's to give you a flavour of the sort of things that we look at in the study of health and social care. Please, if you have any questions or queries, send either myself or Carrie Weiselberg an email. Good luck.
and I look forward to uh, meeting you all in September. Thank you. Bye-bye.